Someone has made a decision about you. Someone has made a decision about you. But God says he will do this. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorin. I have a prophetic word for somebody. Someone, as a matter of fact, someone in authority has made a decision about you. But God says he has also made a decision as to what is to happen. This word is coming to somebody. You are being actually in a difficult position right now because someone who is an authority to you has been manipulated to make a decision against you. They have been manipulated but God says, I should tell you, even the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. The Bible tells us in the book of Esther how Haman manipulated the king, visited uh, the, 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 the witch doctor for over a year to look for a day that will favor him to go and he succeeded to get the king to sign a decree that all the Jews should be killed. And it was mainly because of Mordecai. Mainly because he felt like Mordecai was not respecting him enough. And then this is the king he asked. He, the king made up his mind that he was going to eradicate all the Jews. The king made up his mind that all the Jews will be, will, will be killed. But God says he, even the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. And God intervened. And that night the Bible said the king they could not sleep. Someone somewhere is, will lose their sleep because of you. Someone somewhere is not able to sleep because of you. And the Bible says the king couldn't sleep. The king got up and asked. For his servants to bring him the book of the Chronicles. Where he opened the book and realized that Mordecai had saved him and some, some months back. And he asked, was he honored? And they said no. And instead of killing Mordecai, Mordecai was honored. Someone in authority thinks they've made up their mind against you. They think they've made up their decision against you. But God says, even the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. Instead of punishing you, instead of firing you, instead of killing you, instead of destroying you, they will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Instead of hating you, they will favor you in the name of Jesus. Instead of giving a, a bad report, they will appreciate you in the mighty name of Jesus. They might have made a negative decision against you. They might have made up their mind against you. But God says, even the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Shalom.